Willow versus Elvi, Elvi versus Willow. We've heard this before, right? And now it's even harder because they both have new, cheaper versions of their originals. So let's just talk about it all today. I'm mostly gonna be talking about the LV Stride and the Willow Go, but we are gonna reference the two originals as well, the original LV and the original Willow, because we just, we need to understand what these pumps are and which one might work best for you. <laughs> so let's dive in. I've got some fun graphs to show you. Let's talk about their different sections, prices, pros, cons, all that kind of stuff. In case you haven't been here before, my name is Allison Tolman. I'm an IBCLC and breast pump expert, and I'm happy to be here talking with you today about breast pumps. Let's see if we can find you the one that's going to work best for you. Okay, let's start with the LV Stride and the new Willow Go. The LV Stride has been out for a couple months. The Willow Go has been out for a couple of weeks at the time that I'm recording this video. So we have a little bit more user information on the LV Stride currently than we do the Willow Go. So that makes a difference too, because the longer they're out, the more reviews we have to really help us compare these pumps. So I'm gonna talk about just some of the features and things like that, and then we'll go from there, okay? In my opinion, there's really two big factors in, in these two pumps that are different, okay? Because they're, they're very similar pumps, if I can be honest. One is the motor placement obviously. So Willow has their motor inside. It's all in one wearable. The new LV Stride has an external motor. So it comes with two cups and a pump that you can clip somewhere, but it is not, it has some tubes, right? So it's not all together. The original LV is that it has the motor. It's all in the bra, just like that. Okay. So that's one of the biggest differences between the Stride and the Willow Go. The second one is size, I would say. Okay. So the LV Stride is a little bit smaller than the Willow Go, again, because of the way the motor is placed. Another really interesting factor of these pumps, there's, there's several more differences that we'll talk about now. But one thing that I do like about the LV Stride is that one of the big complaints with wearable pumps is that you cannot see your nipple and make sure that it's lined up right. And the LV Stride has added this little... Uh, pop top here. It's actually where you pour the milk out when you're done. But while you're pumping, you can actually see your nipple in there, which is really cool in my opinion. So that's a major pro of the LV Stride. The cost difference currently, the Willow Go is about $349. At the time I'm filming this, the LV Stride is about $249 or $329, I think it was. 329. So the Willow goes a little bit more expensive, but you don't have any tubing. So <laughs> there's that. The Willow Go also comes with a larger storage capacity. So this one is five ounces, but you can get a seven ounce container. It will be bigger, obviously, but that's a nice option. A lot of moms complained about their wearable pumps not holding enough milk if you are one of those moms that pump a lot of milk per session. So I feel like Willow really listened to what their what the users were saying about the original and kind of made it better and cheaper right okay so let's start with the willow let's talk about what is this willow go and how is it different than before so the original willow uh, there's several other videos on the channel about this i'm not sure if i've ever actually showed you a graph of the willow section before though so the Willow is the only pump I know of that has this interesting type of suction and you either love it or you hate it, I guess. But here's what it looks like on a graph. It was actually pretty hard to measure, but here's what's interesting about this. You can see that at the beginning, this pump is trying to find suction because it requires a constant suction at the breast and it pulls in your nipple and it holds it there. So notice um, about the second two thirds of this graph, how the bottom is only going to like 70. That's because the, the suction is held in the original willow. So it suctions. If it can't find suction to a breast, it's not gonna work right, which is what this graph is showing because I couldn't get it to suction right to my machine. So you can see that it's got the little dips. That's where it was trying to refine suction again. 
The willow pump also requires that you have a certain amount of milk inside before it will automatically switch to expression mode, which is good and bad. I guess they were trying to go for ease of use, but a lot of moms complain about that because they're like, well, what if I don't get a letdown? Or what if I just want to go to expression mode because it's easier? You can't. <laughs> so the Willow Go is, or the Willow Original is interesting in that way. So let's look at the Willow Go. What does this look like? Okay. The Willow Go looks like this. It's very much more like a traditional pump. So you can see that it goes from zero, so from no suction. Okay, this is stimulation mode. So you can see that it's going up to oh, almost 70 cycles per minute, which is fine. Um, it's going really fast as well because this is the, the stimulation mode where it's supposed to go fast. But notice that the suction goes all the way down to zero, okay? That's different than this one. This is the original Willow. So you can see that this is a lot more like a like a traditional pump, the Willow Go. So you can switch back and forth between modes easily, expression stimulation, whatever you want, whatever you want, <laughs> okay? So that's the Willow Go. Here's what the Willow Go looks like in expression mode. So I was able to get um, just under 250 max suction on the Willow Go, although my device is not set up for an ideal suction on wearable cups like this. So it's a little tricky. I did use another device to test the suction um, where I could get excellent suction and it was well over 300. So again, it has plenty of suction. It's just gonna depend on how well you have it against the breast and how how sealed it is to, to get the suction you want. So I think it has plenty of suction, very up and down pattern, very standard traditional pumping style for the Willow Go. How does this compare to the LV Stride? Okay, let's take a look. Here's what the LV Stride suction pattern looks like. And you can see that it looks a little bit different. The LV Stride had a nice up, but then it had this little dip on the way down. So it didn't drop straight down like some of the other pump suctions do, which is that better or worse? I don't really know, <laughs> but LV has a really unique suction in general. We already know this. The, the original LV, um, looks like this and it goes it's more of a gradual up and down it does pause occasionally like you can see right here for a little break the stride it does that as well so it kind of goes and then stops for a second keeps going whatever it's fine I don't care um, but the suction is very gentle and it's it's hard for me to show you the graph doesn't represent what the LVs feel like so these are some of the most gentle suctions that you find which can be a pro or a con, okay? Some moms like to feel the suction that helps them get a letdown. They like it strong, they like it hard, and then you're not going to love the LV style of suction. If you're okay with a more gentle style, you're, or maybe you're really sensitive, or you don't really need to feel that suction, you're just gonna put it in and the milk's gonna come, the LV Stride is very gentle, very nice. So again, it's just a different feel. I can't even describe it. And the graph doesn't give me a great representation of the feel, the gentleness of an LV either. It's it's a unique style. But I did think it was interesting that the LV Stride just had that little extra come down on their pattern. So take that for whatever you'd like to do with it there. <laughs> okay. Couple other things to note about these pumps when we're talking about the Stride and the Willow Go. Um, the Willow Go is easier to purchase right now. The Stride at this time is only available through your ins like insurance companies or a DME company. I actually bought this one through One Natural Way, I believe, which is a direct medical equipment company. Um, I didn't use my insurance. I just paid for it through them, which was fine. I do know that they just released the LV Stride Plus, which is available on LV, but it comes with a bag and it was more expensive. So, I mean, cool, but a little, just trickier to find the Stride unless you're gonna use it for your insurance. I would not, however, recommend the LV Stride as your only pump. So just, oh, th and this is probably my personal opinion, I wanna preface it with that, but um, if you're using your insurance to purchase an LV Stride, just know that you will likely probably purchase another pump in the future. Maybe you're okay with that, then go for it, but I would not, Unless you're a stay-at-home mom who's only pumping occasionally, if you need anything else, like if you're a working mom, like the type of moms that I work with, 
you, that's not going to cut it, in my opinion. Just, again, my opinion. Uh, the Willow Go is a little bit easier to purchase. You can get it directly from the Willow website. Oh, I'm sure it'll be on Amazon here soon. Um, easy, right? It The Willow Go actually also has some, some good features. Like the parts to it are pretty big and they're easy to clean. It does have the like standard number of parts, five parts to clean. The duckbill valve though is big and easy to clean, which is great. The setup is, you know, pretty straightforward. The only thing that's a little bit tricky about the setup of this pump is if you like to utilize the fridge hack, which is where you put your pump parts in the fridge in between pumping sessions and then just pull them out again for the next one instead of washing them, which the CDC does not recommend, but no judgment for me if that makes your life easier and it works. It's very difficult with the Willow Go because of where the motor is placed. So you can see that the motor is, is in the middle of all of these parts. So it does make it a little bit tricky to utilize that hack if that's something that you're interested in. The Willow Go has only been out for a couple weeks when I'm filming this, okay? But so far, the reviews have been much more positive on the Willow Go than they have on the LV Stride. The LV Stride has really mixed reviews. Some people hate it, some people love it. The, the Willow Go is seeming to have a better response from users. I also, I mean, this one's a little bit more expensive, but I do like it. Let me grab my mannequin over here and I'll show you what they both look like under clothes. All right, so here's my trusty little helper today. I think we will do the stride on this side. And we'll do the wheel go on the other. That looks great. So you can already tell that the wheel go is a little bit bulkier than the stride not a ton though okay and then we'll see if she can fit this under her scrubs <laughs> she's gonna be a nurse today i always think it's interesting trying these with scrubs because scrubs are made of cotton and they do not stretch so it can give you a pretty good idea of what it looks like because there's no stretch in this fabric okay if you can't tell i will say that the lv stride is trimmer than the willow go but not by that much. <laughs> so there's also a, a little, I don't know if you can see that, a little divot here where the plug is on the, on the L, uh, LV stride. Do you see this little thing on the stride? I can see it a little bit through the shirt. This one is a smooth, smooth feel. This is the Willow Go. So there you have it. That's what it looks like under, under clothes. We'll get this angle too. There's really no pump that is going to be 100% discreet. Even the, like the original LV, which is probably one of the most just trim in the bra wearable pumps. You can still tell that this woman is a little bustier than normal. Um, the original LV, it does look like, is trimmer than the LV Stride which I didn't know till I just tried that with you here. But the original is even trimmer than these cups, okay? Again, you can run the LV Stride tubing down your shirt. You can even clip this on a pocket or a waistband if you want. I also have a really cute bag for portable pumps like that from Mimi and Pal, which is one of my new favorite inventions. But it's like this and then you clip it around your waist. It's so freaking cute look at that and it has a port for your tube you can plug the tube right into it on the side hook it to your pump anyway i thought that was pretty cool okay there you have it i did not cover every point and every tiny difference of all four of these pumps okay this was really just like a general overview to kind of help you understand the differences between them and maybe give you a little bit better idea which ones might work for you so if you have more questions about some of the specific differences or a part that we didn't cover you wanted me to please put it in the comments and i will do a follow-up video for, video for you i just wanted you to get some of this information out to help you better understand these pumps and where they're sitting currently as we know them. So information always changes and I'll do my best to keep up with it. But if you have any questions about 
the best breast pump for you. If you're a working mom, you can join our next webinar and I would love to talk with you and help you figure this out. Can you use wearable pumps as your only pump? That's a topic we cover. Can you use a portable pump as your only pump? We also cover that. And what do you do after you get a pump? How do you figure out how to use it? We also cover that. So I'd love to see you at our next webinar. Otherwise, let me know what questions you have and we'll see you on the next video.